It's time to knock some things off your bucket list. First up, travel the world. Up, travel if you've world. always wanted to visit Hong, Hong Kong or vacation Kong in the Swiss Alps and, Swiss and wondered what it was like, it was like well, Jeanette, well, Yvette, Yvette, and Tina Yvette got the scoop for you. These jet-setting jet divas are always at some fun and exotic place experiencing the best of what life has to offer. And each week, they'll tell you all about it. These ladies are always high-flying loads of fun. Hi, I'm Jeanette. And I'm Yvette. And I'm Tina. And we are the Jet Setting Divas. Hey, ladies. Oh, my hey. gosh. Hey. It's, the, it's almost summer. It's good. It's almost summertime. People are traveling out there. They are. People it's are. a holiday People. weekend, and they're getting out there going different places. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We, we got to talk about travel, what to expect, what people are doing, what's happening. What are y'all hearing out there? Okay. A lot of road okay. trips. What I'm thinking yes. is that I, I did see a fight on Southwest Airlines and oh my somebody goodness. asked me why yes. I know I travel, like why are why are people fighting? What's going on? And I told them that pretty much I think what's happening is that people don't want to wear their masks. And, and you know what? But what I would say, telling them to do that, then they're getting upset, and that's where the fight starts. But what, well, what, I'm gonna, what, what I'm going to what I'm going to say is, um, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that a lot of people are having different rules state by state. So when they're getting on planes and they're getting on all of these different modes of transportation, they have different rules. So when they get on a plane and someone's saying, "Oh, the FAA saying you know it's required," they're 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 being combative. Yeah. Hey, what are you? Well, they're listening. Have you heard anything? They're 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 particularly listening to the CDC just saying that if you've been vaccinated, you don't need to, uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to wear a mask. But some um, like airlines are still requiring you to put the mask on if you're going to if you're going to um, fly. So you have to go, uh, go about their rules, you know, if you expect to go anywhere. Not yeah, I mean, I, state to state too. Tina, I don't know. I know you do remember we, me and Tina. We were in Hawaii and we went out early one morning at one of the hotels to take pictures. And the lady, she came over and she said we were outside at the pool. The only two people were there were the two of us taking pictures. And the woman, she said, "Put on your mask." And we're like, "We're just taking pictures." And she's like, "No, put yeah. on your mask." And then she yeah. came back and told me later, "Do you know that the Hawaii has a rule and it's a, a law that you must wear?" your mask so yeah that's it's, it's 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 so confusing because i have to tell you i'm here at myrtle beach mm -hmm. and right now they're saying uh mask required but uh every restaurant every hotel every place i've gone they said oh you don't need to wear a mask uh, it, are you a uh, mask and no one even the police riding on the their their motor vehicles they have no mask mm -hmm. nobody has a mask on around here and i am like Walking around with a mask, so it's just crazy. And I mean, it's I've confusing. Noticed, yeah, I've noticed businesses because I've gone into a, a few uh, different places. They still have the sign on the door, but once yeah, you get inside, you have people walking around with no mask. So that's every, yeah, that's every, and that's yeah. what's happening with the planes. People yeah. are getting on there, and they want to put them up under their not up under their yeah. chin and chin. Under their, and that's just not working. And I do know Southwest because I flew Southwest from Dallas to Arkansas. They're very strict. So did yeah, you see that and you kind of saw, they, yeah, that yeah, you kind of saw it. But that fight wasn't about a mask. That fight was it was about okay, it was she else. asked the lady to put on her seat belt. Oh yeah, okay, now that's that's something different. Yeah, that's but people are unruly. People, they people want to. They, they, they are unruly, yeah, and they you are. cannot. You cannot fight TSA or airlines because they will ban you for life. You will never be able to go through the airport or on those airlines. So I don't know what people are thinking. Right. right. I don't yeah. know. That lady was having a bad day. Um, that I heard that there was no argument between the people. And she just out the blue just hit the lady. She just had to wow. keep out some anger. That is Wow, that, that is crazy. That is crazy. And I have to tell you that these are just been diff different times. I mean, so many people are out and, you know, I'm over here in the Northeast and mm -hmm. they are really like, you know, they are no gas. People are, you know, you just see people sitting at gas stations who probably wow. have driven miles and didn't get gas at the last stop. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, wow. it's, it's a different times and you're, you're looking at people who just want to get out. And I see a lot of arrests and you know, you definitely as a traveler have to make sure you know where you're going and what the rules are. 
Yeah, I think they you are. also have to be cool. You you can't just lose your yeah. cool. You know, we talk about that. But one reason why we enjoy traveling together is because we just go with the flow. And in traveling and in life in general now, you just got to kind of go with the flow. Because if not, you're going to get into a lot of trouble. You don't want to yep. be banned from an airline for the rest of your life. You know, that's just, that's just that's not Yeah. Possible. But I mean, Yvette, you were just talking. I mean, I know you were going to give us some information about some of these new incentives for people to get vacca right. vaccinated. Okay. Yeah. They are trying to push um, vaccines by giving um, individuals incentives, you know, for getting the vaccines. One particular thing that I saw was United Airlines is going to give, um, you, starting June the 1st, if you send in a copy of your vaccine to them, you can go into a drawing to win free um airfare for a year yeah right? and i oh, wow. also that i like that's awesome like i'm gonna send in mine because i wouldn't mind winning yeah airfare for a year yeah. and um also i saw where some other companies are going to be offering incentives also i don't know exactly what they are and i haven't done a whole lot of research on it but i did see it on the news places like walgreens mm. cvs you know places like that they are trying to get you to get your vaccine yeah today i went into walmart and they actually have a sign up if you need a vaccine you can get it today so they're giving them out and they're giving free vaccines at walmart we all got vaccinated through cvs so everybody needs to go ahead and get vaccinated because that's going to help us get things back to normal Right. Yeah, and another, 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 another age group that is not getting vaccinated. Mm -hmm. There are less than five percent is age twenty to twenty four, wow. uh, so they are not getting vaccinated. They said they, with the new implement uh, implementations of twelve to eighteen, they are have they're bypassed. You know, twenty to twenty four year olds getting vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So you know, and you know, of course, me having a. a Right. Kids that, that are in that same demographic. I'm asking them, or you know, do you plan on getting a um, your vac your vaccination? And I'll be honest, what my 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 kids are saying is they're concerned. You know, they they yeah. they're still a childbearing. You know, they they haven't had kids. Mm -hmm. So one of the concerns, which is valid, like with any other you know unknown product or foreign substance, they're saying they don't know if that's going to make them uh, fertile or it, it, it have infertility issues. So it makes sense that I think that's a discussion right. that may be going on with some of the younger people is what can this do? What can this do to my, you know, my life if I get this vaccination? So I don't know. Right. I think, well, my son, he's 21 and I know he was concerned. He wanted to take the one shot with the Johnson and Johnson. And we actually took him to take the shot, and then he got scared and he refused to go in. So he did take the Johnson and Johnson. That whole thing was coming out with a lot of issues with Johnson and Johnson. And he was like, "I'm glad I didn't take it." So he went and he took the Moderna. He took both of the two Moderna shots. But yeah, yeah, there's definitely. I was going to say, Yvette, you must have a lot of people going on over there because I. I hear a lot of background back there. You must have a lot of family. You must be getting ready for the my, holidays. My, my mom wants to join <laughs> our podcast. I heard her. Okay. <laughs> I can hear her in the broadcast in the background. I'm like, tell her, tell her to reach in and say hi. Tell her to say hi to us. Say hi, mom. <laughs> yeah, you got to come over. Hi. Hello, hello. There's my daughter. She's in that age group. Okay, yes. have you gotten your vaccine? Yvette, has she gotten her vaccine? No. I no. have two young ladies, um, ages 22 and 20. I have not convinced them to get the vaccine. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's something. I'm dealing with the same thing that you're dealing guy. with, Tina, with my young adults. They have the, yep. I mean, what do we do to get these young adults vaccinated? I don't know. And you know what? Yeah, I I, 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 I want to sit here and just kind of wait and see, because I think a lot of them just want to wait and see because yeah. they don't know the outcome. And we know that there are some yeah. some side effects that have not been uh, proven, but not even been tested. So I don't know. Well, I think we just, you know, not only with that, I saw we discussed it amongst ourselves some of the side effects that women are seeing women in, in yeah. menopause stage are, are they're going yeah. back in their, their pre-menopause again yeah so we saw that being a side effect so yes yeah. you know, so, that's so yeah so yeah it's a lot of it's a lot of things to consider and i know we want them but i would say if you're traveling you definitely need to make some precautions i mean if you're not traveling then and you and you, and you make that choice that's one thing but if you're traveling and you're concerned about your uh, health, 
you definitely may want to uh, ensure that you have, you know, a vaccination or at least you definitely you're gonna have to stay keep your mask on. Right. That's all but I can you say. You want to spend time with your family, also. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, telling people. Yeah. You know, go and be around other people mm -hmm. that's vaccinated. Yeah. You that's know, yeah. Saying, yeah. Saying, what to do mom, with these young adults? Yeah. He, it just depends yeah. on. Cody got vaccinated because he's staying with my mom and she's a senior citizen. So he didn't want to cause her any issues, but my brother is refusing to get vaccinated. So, you know, it just, it just, depends. yeah. But, so but, concerned. Yeah. And if you're seeing those, so he's concerned. yeah. Yeah. So another thing is uh, those, uh, if you want to travel outside the country, getting ready to travel outside of the country, you're going to have to show proof of vaccination. And, yeah. you know, a lot of people and, you know, we know the international travel and a lot of the um, tourist areas, they're 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 looking for travelers. And yeah. you're going to have to show proof, whether it be a vaccinated passport or uh, bringing the little car, which I think is still a little fishy because people can definitely forge, you know, a vaccination. Yeah. But so we do need something more electronic because. Uh, emailing me and telling me I'm vaccinated, you know, everybody knows how to cut and paste and scan and, yeah. and uh, cover up and put names on there. So I think yeah. they need a better process. Right. So ladies, so, yeah, ladies so another story that I heard about that I thought would directly apply to us. I know when we were flying just a month ago to Hawaii, there were several babies and young kids on the plane that were screaming, hollering. And getting oh, my gosh. Yes. And, yeah. and that was I, a long I flight. A story this week about that there was a lady on the on the plane. I guess maybe she was a mom and she went and got one of the other passengers baby and comforted the baby and got to got the baby to sleep. OK, so Yvette, would you do that? I probably wouldn't. Personally, no. Mm. I, I probably didn't. No. I mean, I, I, we're still in the I just wish the parents would know how to handle their babies on flight. And that was a long flight. We were on that flight for like seven, six, eight, seven eight hours. hours. Eight and, um, eight hours. I mean, you need to do something that get, get your baby the things that they like, their comfort things, food, you know, toys, uh, sport animals, or something to try to help your baby. To, yeah. Um, and, and another thing that yeah, another thing parents need to keep keep aware is you're going up to a higher altitude. Sucking, right. they need to be sucking something, or they yeah. need to have something that's pulling that air out of their, you know, yes. out of their ears. And I think that a lot of parents are not taking, are not talking to their pediatrician to find out what do I do to keep my my baby calm on a flight that long. And they probably right. would have told them that. So I don't know. People yeah, are just weird these need, days. Some people just don't, don't know, know what to do. Feel. You know, baby time, infant time, and all just something to calm, help them calm their nerves. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's it, it's a lot of things going on with travel, and I mean the other things we haven't even talked about is we talk about planes, but you know people are getting on trains, yeah. and you know are those restrictions like the FAA restrictions? Are they going to hold true on buses and trains and you know other modes of transportation? Mm -hmm. Because I, I I honestly would say that you know can you really be sure that the people on the city bus actually have gotten their vaccination maybe Most they did the maybe they didn't i've seen you know the little rolling thing at the top of the bus yeah it says mask is required yeah. so masks are still required on the bus yeah so, yeah. so, yeah. so we rode in hawaii we all had to wear I'm, and it was so hot and just yeah but that was a month ago it was a month ago you things right, change so things, things change yeah. and they're changing quickly they're changing they quite quickly here i mean we're getting ready to get into the summer months june starting fourth of july it's memorial day weekend people are who goes to the beach and wear a mask yeah it's just like at the pool. <laughs> that hotel in hawaii required you to wear a mask at the pool who wants to sit at the pool with a mask on you know okay. some things are getting a bit ridiculous yeah so we yeah. just need to stay afloat and yeah. watch the news and keep track of it because things are changing so one so week is this, the next week is something else yeah, and, and, those, and those flights are and those flights are going up. The price, have you seen them, man? That they 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 are not planned. Right, <laughs> they're expensive. Yeah. Well, ladies, we're definitely gonna. I hope everyone stays tuned to our podcast because we're gonna be doing everything that we can do to make sure that you are abreast about everything that's going on related to masks, related to travel, and just getting back out there and living again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's great, uh, Jeanette. Well, I'm Jeanette. 
And I'm Yvette. And I'm Tina. And we are the Jet Setting Divas. Hey, Happy ladies. Memorial Day, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Tune in next Thursday when the Jet Setting Divas will tell you about another fun destination spot that you'll want to visit. For more on their excursions, log on to ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com.